Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Today, I want to share with y'all how I organize and how I manage paint. Um, painting in the classroom can be messy. It can be crazy. So I wanted to kind of share with you how we do it. In fact, I have a few, four classes painting right now, so everything's all set up, but let's take a look. All right, so here is my counter of painting supplies. Typically, I have a set of supplies per table. I have eight tables, so they're in multiples of eight. This makes cleaning up a lot easier because there's a minimal amount of supplies instead of having enough supplies for every single student. Even if I had students share, share like two people per set of supplies, it still was a lot, and it was hard for everybody to get cleaned up. And so I have found that having a set of stuff per table is really helpful, works really well. So starting off in the sink over here, I have some of the clean palettes. Um, that's not clean. Uh, <laughs> mixing trays. I need to go grab a few more, but these are just styrofoam trays. And so students can use the big surface to mix any colors of paint that they need. They're really easy to scrub, and then they typically last through maybe 10, 20 uses. I got a pack of 40-something for like 80 cents, so they're two or three cents a piece, really good deal there. And then these are just old plastic paint palettes. And I say old because you can kind of see there's still acrylic paint on here that was from way before I worked here. Um, so we have those. And then up over here, I have eight water cups that are set up. I always, as soon as they are clean, that's not clean. You can tell I clean up in a hurry today. Um, I always leave them with water in them because the water typically doesn't dissolve. I found my kids don't play with it. I don't have those kinds of problems, so they're, they're I can leave them out, which is really nice. And then over here, I have two different sets of brushes. These are the gunky, older, not as nice brushes that I use. Start I start my sixth graders off with and then once they have shown me that they're able to and for my elbow students Have these nicer like brand new brushes brand new as in this is the first year we've used them There's also some good detail brushes we have here um, then from there the last thing that every table always has is a paint palette one of those round mixing trays and I do white and black and then red yellow and blue so they can mix all the colors they need typically in the middle of a class I will have all of the trays laid out with the paint on them and so it's easy for students to grab but since this is overnight um, what I do is I have these finger painting trays and two of them fit perfectly in here and I have like a dozen of these so it works out perfectly and then I can put the tray on top just set a few more on there put the tray on top so that means that there's a handful of these in here um, and then kind of seal the paint in there ready for the next day. I've even left them over the weekend with this and it's almost airtight so it's great. It's perfect. Um, then the last thing I have, and I only have three of them, um, is our three spray bottles that have water in them for cleanup. Um, then the last thing that's not over here and that anybody can use are the paper towels. This is super, super important. In fact, we ran out of paper towels earlier today and my tables were all wet and I had another class coming in the next period and it was all wet and we had problems. Um, but anyways, that's kind of generally how much in terms of supplies. Oh, um, the paint, there's one per table. The paint palettes, water cups, there's one per table, brushes, there's one per person plus extras, then mixing trays, there's two per table. Right now there's not that many because I, I threw a ton of them out earlier. They were kind of broken and falling apart, so I need to go grab some more. Um, and then I always have an extra cup and th things in there. So that is paint set up. Now let's talk about paint cleanup. I learned my paint philosophy clean up from another art teacher, what we call a master art educator. He's pretty, he's amazing. Um, but what he always had said was don't trust kids to clean your brushes. Like he taught high school advanced students. He even had advanced art kids in like seniors and he always cleaned the brushes. And taking that down to middle school, I even take on a little bit more cleaning the paint palettes, cleaning the cups and things like that. So at the end of class, when I call for cleanup, the kids, as they are all around the room, they bring me their brushes, their water cups, and their mixing trays. 
And then the paint palette if it's totally gross and needs to be cleaned. Um, but paint palettes typically go back on the counter. Then I stand here at the sink and I'm cleaning everything. That's what those scrubbers are for. I scrub the paint palettes if they need to be. Scrub out that. I scrub out the water cups and quickly put the water in them. I gather all the brushes. I clean them in the sink like ten at once. Put them back in there. And as I'm doing that, I am looking around the room and monitoring and making sure that my students are cleaning off the tables and that they're spraying the tables, that they're wiping them down, that they're cleaning off the floor, that they've brought me all their supplies, that they're not arguing and playing, which can happen and there are consequences, which reminds me I need more referrals. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my system for paint. I... In general, I have a set of stuff per tables plus a few extras. And then in cleanup, I tend to do a lot of the cleanup of the specific tools, and then the kids clean up the tables. So I hope this system kind of gives you some ideas and some kind of tricks to help you out. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have ideas of any other things that you would like to have me show you, please leave that in the comments down below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.